Hi, my name is Jeannie, and this is Bisaya in America. So, there's been a lot of controversy with regards to the abortion rights in America that you know has been overturned by the Supreme Court, and I'm like right in the thick of it right now. Um, it, I do have a different perspective because I come from the Philippines where abortion is not legal and at the same time I know that when I stepped in America um, for as long as like the 70s I think it was already legal abortion was legal up to a certain uh, amount of like weeks so that's the thing um, it's pretty complicated situation I do get both sides so the thing is I grew up Catholic in the Philippines and we did value or we still will still we were taught to value life and so abortion was a no-no not that people and it's illegal in the Philippines but not that people are not doing it they, they still are women are still doing abortion uh, there even if it's illegal and in America I, I just had different perspective and I do respect their laws because I'm here but I always knew that abortion was legal and that was the rights of women and but now that I'm a Buddhist and I also have a different perspective as well which is you know um, as Buddhists we respect life all forms of life and you know we believe that life is precious and it is also um, but at the same time we also have to be reasonable uh, Buddhism is reason as well so there should also be uh, a way like there should be exceptions to the rules such as like you know rape or medical reasons and other you know reasons that are reasonable as well maybe for the health of the child health of the mother and everything that is you know in danger maybe something a situation that endangers both of them or the li life of the mother so I can't really see an easy solution uh, to this one and I'm like in the middle but I also believe that women should have the right to you know to do whatever they want with their body as well without the government like meddling with it as well you know so I do believe in women's rights as well that they have a right to their body but at the same time I also do respect life and as a Christian before or Catholic and then now as a Buddhist but I also believe in that right as well to choose what is right for you so basically Buddhism doesn't really teach that um, you know it's not all uh, black and white there's always like a middle way and that's the thing like we have to figure out as a society uh, why women are getting abortions as well like it is there really is a disparity um, when it comes to you know women's health and um, especially like when you have a child and there's no one else to support you that can be um, not just mentally devastating to a woman that could also be financially devastating to a woman you know especially if you're a single mother and you know you can't afford to have that child as well so there's really no easy solution to this one and um, as for me personally I really find it kind of sad uh, because there's women that really do abortion not because of financial reasons and or you know medical reasons they just don't want to have that child 
And uh, anytime that a society uh, thinks that way, that life essentially is disposable, that, you know, th that life is not sacred or precious, that, that there comes the problem, there lies the problem. But at the same time, as a woman as well, I don't think I would appreciate it if the government would tell me like, hey, you know, we have the right to your your body as well. Like we're going to dictate what we want to do with it. And that to me is also a no, no. So now we're in this quandary, like who is right and who is wrong. But personally, for me, I think I believe that education is key. Um, educating the young women and uh, helping them as well with other options like birth control and other things as well. So this is really like one of those topics that doesn't really have a solution. Um, I just, I understand both sides having come from both sides and, you know, it's, I see it as well coming from the perspective of what kind of society are we as well if we don't protect the rights of the unborn children as well like um and i'm talking about like babies that are aborted because they're you know unwanted and stuff like that that's the thing like we shouldn't have a society like that um the ideal society would be that all children that are born into this world are wanted, you know. But that is the ideal. And sadly, so human beings, um, they're very complicated. And there's really just no easy solution to anything. But I believe in compromise. I believe in the middle way. And I don't know. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just wanted to offer my perspective as well on this one, which is there's really no easy solution. And uh, I can understand the confusion and the division when it comes to abortion rights and such. But having come from a different perspective, having lived in another country where it was not legal i can tell you that abortions were still being done and you know there's still a lot of i don't know the number and stuff like that but yeah but most of the uh, the women that have had um abortions um i don't have the figure as well but i'm pretty sure that a lot of those women did that because uh, those pregnancies were not necessarily wanted so as i said i think as a society we have to come together and offer solutions educate the women provide maybe a way and a means for the the men go after the men as well that so that they can support these women because i can also understand the dread that one would feel if you are going to raise the child on your own as well you know and also teen pregnancies as well how can we prevent that and birth control how can you know we educate young women on using birth control and other means as well and it's really one of those things that maybe in this lifetime we won't have a solution to but in an ideal society as i said you know, it would be nice if all the kids born into this world were wanted and loved. But we know that is far from the ideal. Anyway, I just wanted to offer my opinion uh, because this is like a hot topic right now. Which it should be because it's very, very complicated. So thank you very much for listening. Do listen to my other episodes as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.